Hey, what's going on everybody? My name is Chris and welcome to Linux Tech Geek. So in today's video, I'm going to be covering virtual cameras, specifically B4L2 loopback. And I'm going to show you guys how to set this up and what I actually would use this for. Now, if you're not a person who's doing anything with video here on Linux you know maybe you're uh, you're not a content creator you really don't have a camera or anything like that this video may not be for you but for those of you that are content creators or maybe you do a lot of zoom calls maybe you do a lot of Jitsi calls you use OBS a lot uh, and uh, you want more than one camera support. One of the biggest issues here on Linux is that all your other perpetual devices, such as your mouse, your keyboard, and all that stuff, you know, it can be used by multiple things simultaneously, right? Even your network card can be used simultaneously. However, the one thing here on Linux that you can use that that you can only use at a time is your cam, right? So, for example, I have OBS open right now on my left-hand monitor that you guys cannot see. I have one scene open, and this is the scene right now of me talking to you guys. If I went to Discord right now. And I opened up, you know, and I did a, a test video on Discord with this same camera. It wouldn't work. However, with virtual cameras, it will work. And that's what I'm going to show you guys how to do today. So let's go ahead and jump over to the desktop and let's begin. All right, so here we are. We're on the desktop now. And there are some things that we're going to have to do. Um, so let me go ahead and bring us up for you guys so the first thing is we need to actually install a couple of things and we need to install b4 l2 loopback as you can see i already have it installed here on my system but um, if you guys want to use this you are going to have to install this uh, on yours and for the use flags, the only use flag I really have is this dist kernel strip. Okay, um, I just have dist kernel. Um, I'll always have it with all my programs, and that's because I use a distribution binary kernel. Okay, but uh, if you use the, the gen kernel, I don't think you need this. Um, and then I have strip. I'm not sure exactly what strip is. And I don't have examples or modules compress or module sign. Okay. This is the only thing that you really need to use though. Um, so now once we have B4L2 loopback installed, what we need to do is we need an, we need another program. Okay, and this is going to uh, this is just going to, to help us out a little bit. Um, so we could do EIX V4L2. And there is another B2L B4L. Yeah, it's called V4L. My apologies. But it's Media TV B4L Utils. Okay. And if we run this V4L Utils. No, it's V4L hyphen control. I apologize. If we run this V4L2 control, we can actually see all the devices on our system that does anything with, with, with video, right? It, it will show you your video camera device, okay? It'll show you if you have any virtual devices installed. Um, so we can do v 4 L2 control and then we can do list hyphen devices and hopefully this will list all the devices on our system 
So you can see on my system right now, we have this dev video zero. Well, this dev video zero, what this actually is, this is probably my cam link, right? This is my actual cam link. And what the video one in the media zero device is, this is probably just metadata for this specific camera, right? But you also see at the very top here, I have this dev video six and it is a video for loopback. Okay. And it's got a name virtual camera two. So how do we make this virtual camera, right? We have the, we have the virtual camera module. We have it installed on the system. Well, now we have to activate it, okay? Now, some of you guys might not be aware of the program called ModProbe. What ModProbe does is it will activate a kernel module, okay? It's installed on the system, but it needs to be activated before we can use it. I hope that makes sense. Some of us have been using Linux for a long time. We understand what mod probe does. Um, I know stuff is a little bit more automated now. And it, we don't really have to do a lot of mod probing. But we actually do need to mod probe this device. Okay. So the way we do this is we do mod probe. Video 4 L2 loop back okay now we do video underscore nr equals and we give it a we give it a, a number right so i'm going to give this number seven because we already have six working here on the system so i'm going to give it seven and what this will do is instead of having dev slash video six now we'll have video or dev slash video six and we'll have dev video seven. See, the nice thing about these virtual cameras is you can have as many devices as you want. I'm pretty sure. Okay, so we do that and then we give it a label. So we can do card underscore label equals and then we give it a name. So I'm just going to say YouTube virtual camera <laughs> that's that's the name i'm gonna give it youtube virtual camera okay now let me hide my big head here so i can show you the rest of this command okay and now we want to do we want to type in exclusive caps equals one now with this exclusive underscore caps equals one Certain pro programs ha just they have a um, they they kind of screw up with virtual cameras, okay? Like Discord, I think Jitsi also does this. Um, but there are certain programs that you need to have this exclusive underscore caps equal one. Uh, it's not going to hurt anything. It's only beneficial. So I do recommend that you actually have that. It's not, uh, you know, it's not mandatory. But it's it's optional. I don't actually know what that does. But when we enter in this command, okay, so we enter in that command. Now that virtual camera, that that YouTube virtual camera is activated. Okay, so let me turn on my big my camera again. All right. All right, so we made our device. We did the mod probe and everything. Now, I just tried to make more than one virtual device. Uh, it didn't work. I don't understand the reason it didn't work. Um, I was under the impression that you can make more than one virtual device. I'm guessing that you can't. Um, so I do apologize about earlier when I said that you can have multiple devices. Um... Uh, I just did an LS on dev video, and you can see that I only have video 6 here. But I will show you how to automatically have that mod probe come up every single time that you do a reboot. I also want to say that if 
you ever upgrade the kernel or if you ever reinstall the kernel you need to reinstall this video for loopback um, package because that's a kernel module so you're gonna have to reinstall that every single time it's just like your video card driver if you use Nvidia you have to reinstall that every single time that you do a um, a uh, kernel upgrade all right so now let me show you guys how to have this um, this loopback device this video video 4l loopback device how to automatically have it mod probe as soon as you reboot your system okay so you want to do it in vim or whatever text editor you use conf.d modules all right and then at the very end you just want to enter in mod probe b4 l2 loopback video uh underscore nr member nr equals whatever number that you want i recommend you going through five through the number 10 i wouldn't do one through five okay just because if um your camera might already have the one through five for metadata and all that crap okay then you want to give it a card label virtual camera i have mine as virtual camera 2 i was testing something with this one um that's why i have two down here and then um you want to have that exclusive underscore caps equals one okay quit that now let me go let me show you guys what this actually does okay because this is pretty cool so I'm going to jump in Discord and I'm going to set up a, a virtual camera and I'm going to show you exactly what virtual camera is and how it works and all that stuff. All right. So now I got the Discord open and another monitor here. And you can see this is my main camera. Okay. And if you pay attention to the Discord thing, you can see that we have a virtual camera. It says virtual camera 2. Right? So if I click on it, the camera support, it will say virtual camera 2 and cam link. Well, let's make sure that it's on virtual camera 2. All right? And then we can go test video. And you can see <laughs> right there that we have a we we have a a, a video in Discord. Now, you can't make it project something that's different i don't think other than what you're projecting on your actual camera like i don't know I, I don't think i could make my main camera just focus on me and have this virtual camera you know have the side of me or something i don't think you can do stuff like that but this is pretty cool and this is all i'm probably going to use virtual cameras for is stuff like this because now i can do a i can do a conference call with my buddies right so I can be on Jetsy or Discord or whatever. And what I can do is I can I can talk to talk to my buddies. And if I was making a video or something, or if I was live on YouTube, I could also have my live camera as well. And the nice thing about OBS is you can set up multiple scenes and you can have some uh, some virtual cameras. Now I don't know about actual virtual camera devices. Um, but you can have virtual cameras in OBS, and now you can see that we have a virtual camera here in Discord as well, and everything works, and I think it's really cool. This is something I've been wanting to get set up for quite a while now, and uh, now I, I finally did. So if you guys got any value in this video, please give me a thumbs up and a uh, like. I, I would appreciate it. And if you guys have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them down below. I do get back to you guys. And until next time, I want you guys to take care, be safe, and peace. Bye, guys.